Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. So, if not the Madden, she's always got a defensive video for you. Another gameplay. I'm going to be focusing on defensive tips because I think that defense is probably what I get the most comments about uh, from people saying that they're not very good at. I, I got a million offensive plays, and I really only use a handful of defensive plays. But ultimately, a lot of people really say in the comment sections of my videos that they struggle on defense. So, I'm going to focus on that today. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to this channel and you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And stick around other than that if you guys need some coins to finish your uh, blitz promos out i know it's almost done uh make sure to check out my sponsor moxp.com uh, and pick up some coins there link in the description below use discount code money shot uh, for five percent off now the first tip that i have is going to be i'm going to uh, basically set up my substitutions you can see the second the game starts i start rigorously going through my substitutions to make sure that i can maximize my base defense i run mostly cover two man out of the big nickel over g which is pretty much one of the meta defenses in my opinion uh and you, i'm going to show you the setup in this video as well but i really want to make sure that i have safeties at my linebacker spots which is probably most important uh man coverage safeties like tyra matthew i want edge linebackers at my defensive end spots which is also going to be important because i put them in the zones and then when it comes to my defensive tackles i pretty much just want my edge rushers there my fastest pass rushers there now all that changes though the second that i see my opponent is in a two tight end set i'm going to abandon this entirely because it's not a very good run defense and the probability of him running is pretty high out of a two tight end set. So I'm going to go with the 4-3 under. This is my favorite uh, run defense formation out of this particular playbook. I'm in my Chiefs defense playbook, by the way. Uh, Ebook link in the description below. Since I don't have any indicators on what my opponent likes to do, I'm going to match personnel at this point. That's going to be one of the better things to do until you know what your opponent's going to do. Uh, and I'm just going to use the cover two man one more time, which is pretty much the best defense, one of the best defenses in the game, in my opinion, to use. Uh, especially, once again, since you don't really know what your opponent's going to do. Now, like I said, the formation is a little bit of a tell, so I'm expecting run, but you're going to want to set up your run defense every single play regardless. And how to do that is pretty simple. You just want to make sure that you maintain outside leverage with at least one defender, and you want to try to sure up any gaps inside. Now, whether that's pinching your defense, pinching your defensive line, uh, or what I'm going to do in this next play, which is I'm going to basically shift my defensive line in the direction of the strong side tight ends. But you're going to see eventually the goal is going to be to make sure that I always have one of my box defenders wider than their uh, widest box blocker. That's pretty much going to be one of the most important things. And I pretty much took away all the gaps. Then you're going to want to defend the larger half of the field nine times out of ten. Uh, because most people are going to either run or pass to that side of the field. Not to mention there's multiple receivers on the right side right now and not too many on the left. So you're going to want to do that. Then the last thing you're going to want to do every single play is blitz the user linebacker or whatever player you're using. Uh, make sure he's on a blitz because it's a it's a cheat that kind of takes away uh, a change of direction penalty that this year has so it's just a way to make your user faster a lot of people know that by now but not enough people know that by now so i'm always going to look like i'm on a blitz even though i'm not going to be and then we get a stop and i really didn't do anything i just set my defense up properly i just went through these principles properly and you can see how the defense itself gets the stop a lot of times it's not really heavily reliant on the user to make these plays if you do these things correctly if you do these things constantly you're going to see the defense itself does most of the job just as long you set the defense up with these principles so on the next play we got uh you know this could be a pass it's obviously through our receiver set the, the three wreck is superior how to get a three wreck defender like i said i put my linebackers in my defensive end spots all i'm really going to do is put him on a bluff blitz and that'll put him in a three wreck three wrecks are i used to put him in hook zones three wrecks are so much better hook zones just drop straight back look how this guy here he just he's one step ahead of the drag he just covers that all the way across he won't cover that too far as you can see right there he he has to stop eventually because he has to stay towards the middle of the field and he gets beat by the drag eventually but i mean nine times out of ten that might get thrown early and that might be an interception that's a great setup three rack is something i'm going to use pretty much every single play which is way better way more active than your typical hook zone he'll cover he'll cover more he'll follow more it's way better uh and then you always want to choose coverage over blitzing in this game this year uh eventually the blitzers just get through the guys that are rushing you say i got three guys rushing here 
beats the double team eventually just comes straight down the a gap so it's because of that you always want to be coverage minded over uh, anything else now on the next play here you always want to use the the running back whoever's on the running back if you're sending three defenders anyway if you're sending three blitzers because a lot of times they'll stay home to block which frees you up to do more things gotcha, uh, and then you see right here we get the blitzes he's basically i mean champ bailey's gonna have a hell of a game uh, in this particular game i really recommend him he's a great cornerback uh right now in madden if you're playing mutt uh, on the offensive side not gonna work out as good as the defensive side which typically when i do defensive game plays it's because of that reason so on the first couple plays i mean i'm just trying he's in he's in man coverages i'm just trying to hit him with some uh some zigs here didn't quite have the change of direction i tried to turn on field there but it just didn't let me i was hitting the sprint button probably too early uh, on the next play third and five uh, i'm trying to make this uh wire out the play i'm just not trusting it so we're just gonna go we're gonna keep hitting these zigs like i said i'm in i'm in the i'm in control of the game right now my defense looked great I'm really only using two plays right now, but they're not working out too great. I'm using my my stretch alert uh, bubble, which I'll show later on because it will have success at some point in this game. I'll put links in the description below too for these plays that I'm using that I broke down in full videos. This next play here, I mean, if you watch this zig route, this zig route gets wide open. That's like four yards, five yards of separation. And I've been killing him with that all game. So I go to throw it, and if you watch it, he gets even more separation. Plenty of room. I hit the rack button, and for some reason, he decides to high point it, and it triggers the stupidest animation ever. <coughs> So I got to take the field goal. I'm going to point out several instances like that that look like pure DDA. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, on the next defensive series, I'm always going to try to use a free defender if I can. If I'm sending two like I am here, I want to free myself up. So I'm manning the defensive end to the uh, the running back so I don't have to cover that if he goes out in a pattern. Sometimes I'll just use the defensive end that's already on a blitz and just let the linebacker do it. But there's multiple ways to do it. So always try to use a free defender that doesn't have an assignment. Then I'm also going to make sure that I defend the strong side anytime you have a player who's proven that he's running the ball quite a bit um, especially when they're in the center of the field like this I mean this play is kind of in the center of the field can really go either way uh, the tight end a lot of times is going to be indicative of where they're going to run the ball because most people don't have confidence running it to a weak side I personally run a lot of weak side runs because I have confidence doing that it's really based off your reads but a lot of people really want to run behind tight ends now he's also motioning a defender away, but since I'm in a man coverage, it's probably just to pull my cornerback away from the direction that he's running. Uh, and I don't necessarily know that ahead of time, but you can see that's exactly what he does. And my defense gets to stop without me really doing anything because it's all about how you set up your defense. I don't have to run around and make a bunch of user plays. That's not really what it's all about. On the next play, I actually, I actually make a huge mistake. I bite on the, the play fake so much that I pretty much give up um, my uh, the running back. I probably should have just kept going in and user rushed at that point because I already kind of made my bed, but I try to get back in coverage because I know that running back is wide open and he makes a play out of it. But if I would have just tried to cut my losses and run in on the guy, I probably could have got a sack or maybe even forced an incompletion or a bad throw or something like that. So now he's moving the ball on me a little bit, but I don't really care because yards don't equal points. Points are the only thing that matter. I don't really care if I give up yards as long as I keep him out of the end zone because eventually you're going to make him make a mistake like here. gets a little bit of pressure. I think he's trying to hit the crosser, but he instead he throws it right to uh, my defender on the outside there and we get the ball back next play like i was saying i mean i've only really used two plays this entire game it feels like the pa seems is one of them if i'm trying to hit an explosive passing play this is going to be the play especially against man like I said, link in the description below if you want to see more of a breakdown of this play. Uh, but I'm looking at what looks like cover one man. This is an easy read to the Y route. I've done this a million times. He beats the separation. I catch. I go to rack catch. And for whatever reason, he falls backwards into the tackle. Like I said, this is feeling like DDA to me. Let me know in the comment section what you think of some of these BS animations that I'm consistently getting. So next play, I go right back to that stretch alert bubble, which I was telling you guys about. Once again, I'll put a link in the description below for this as well. This is another play that I put out recently. I love these run plays, and sure enough, I mean, that first guy, I just beat him to the edge, and then he takes a Here. bad user angle, just gives me the edge, and I get an easy touchdown. So, two plays, like I said, I pretty much used them in the entire game, and uh, they finally work out. Uh, take a little bit of time into the second quarter, but uh, you can see we're getting it done. Then I'm going to just put it all together. You can see I got all my principles here. Everything's working perfectly. I got my running back tied up. I got my user on a blitz. I got my three wreck. I got everything I need to basically be a shutdown defender right now. As you can see, nothing's really open. On the next play, it looks like he's going to scramble. Um, if you guys don't know, if you push in the right stick, it will send the closest defender towards the quarterback to try to take away running quarterbacks. And that's what I do here. I thought he probably should have got a little bit of a better stop than he did, but you can see it's better than what he would get. So that's pretty much who he's going to become now a lot of times.
sense based off of all the coverage that I'm getting is a running quarterback. So that's why it's so important uh, to basically, you know, you have to know how to do that. And a lot of people don't. So on third and inches, I'm highly expecting another run. This guy's run the ball a lot. I'm waiting to see what he's in. He's in a two tight end set. I'm going to do just about everything I can to take away the run except run commit. I'm up 10 points right now. There's no reason to leave myself vulnerable to a big play. And sure enough, he actually does pass. I almost get, I mean, I feel like I should have got an interception animation there like or something. But, I, you know, I haven't been getting the animations today for obvious reasons. So on next play, fourth and inches, this is a scenario where you want to run commit. Based off the fact that there's nobody on the field that can really beat my defense if it, it turns out to be a pass, I'm going to run commit here. And sure enough, I should have got a stop one more time. You can see I hit him two yards shy, and for whatever reason, he falls forward Wilson. and gets the first down. So, whatever. Like I said, I mean, to me, this is DDA to, to, to hell, but it is what it is. I'm up 10. So, he's going to start running with the quarterback once again. Like I said, I'm pretty much taking away everything. That's pretty much what this defense is set up to do. It's not going to leave you many options. So, I'm going to go out. I'm going to match speed. I'm going to get myself a little bit of a faster guy out there. If he's going to be running around with the quarterback, I'm going to need a little bit more speed to chase him. Sure enough, on the next play, I get stuck on him anyway. Uh, so, actually, he's a better user as well, uh, which is something that if he's in a situation like he is now, where he's pretty much just going to be passing the rest of the game, I'm going to just want speed out there. I don't need any run stoppers. If you're down 10, the chances of him running are pretty slight. Not to mention the situation that we're in right now. I mean, it's, you know, there's less than a minute left in the half. He needs points, so I'm just going to play the clock, uh, and I'm just going to try to take away all all these uh, pass plays, all these, you know, if he, if he wants to run the ball, that's one thing, but realistically, it doesn't make a lot of sense for him clockwise, so I have to know that, and also have to play the score based off the fact that he's down. He's going to force things that he might not typically do based off the fact that, you know, people just play differently when they're down than when they're ahead. And then my last tip for people that play Mutt is going to be make sure you use one step ahead as we get another pick from Champ Bailey um, who has played an absolutely lights out game. I think that was the second interception. As my opponent heads for the exits, if you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. You win. Perfect. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.